It's a new week in the Crew Motor Fest, and we have a new theme. This one is called This Versus That Volume 3. And so here is the new Summit Guide. Let's go. All right, real quick before we get into it, quick shout out to Simji. If you want to take a look at his channel, he's got some of the best driving in Motorfest. He helped tremendously with the lines and the cuts on this particular Summit Guide. So please go check him out. There's a link in the description. All right, let's get into the cars first. So the Summit Bundle, you're going to get the Porsche 911 Carrera RSR Turbo Pulse Performance Edition, the Chevrolet Corvette C3 Fire Edition, and the Ford Focus RS 2010 Racing Car. Those three cars are going to be required vehicles for the Summit. And then the additional vehicles you're you're going to need i recommend the hunatron in the racing category the chevrolet camaro ss in the racing category and then you're going to need some bullseye vehicles you're going to need an alpha gp car and a plane but honestly for your pavement vehicle you could use anything that has score breaker alpha gp just happens to be the fastest you're also going to need a drag vehicle of choice and the parts that you're going to want for that is nitro chemist with pure and frenetic and then of course a slalom vehicle and score breaker is the biggest key to that one you're going to need pure and skilled on your affixes. The keys to this summit, honestly, are the part sets, patience, and practice. This summit in particular is going to be a little frustrating because there's not really a lot of places where you can save time by cutting big parts of the track. So it really is going to come down to your driving skills and your patience and your practice and learning the tracks themselves. There are lots of little corner cuts and little tips that I'm going to give you for each event, but definitely practice will help you a lot on this one. All right, here are the pro settings for all the vehicles I just mentioned. And before we get into the events, quick disclaimer for anyone wondering, none of these clips feature any type of wheel or wheel mode gameplay. I don't use it at all. When you see my car initiate a drift quickly, it's because I'm tapping the NOS and the handbrake at the same time as turning into the corner. All you have to do is try it yourself one time and you'll see the car flick into the drift like that. All right, with that out of the way, the first event is called German Racing versus That. And for this one, I recommend the Hunatron. I tried using the Volkswagen Electric R and I consistently ran faster times with the Hunatron. So I highly recommend that. But I will say that you should definitely use the car that you are faster with. Both cars are similar in speed. My difference was only about a second. So like I said, use the one that you are faster with or more comfortable driving. That being said, this is a lapped race. So here is my first full lap. So you can see the lines and the NOS management that I used. Enjoy. The next event is called Ford Focus RS versus that. Now with this one, there are a couple of cuts that you can take, including this one right here under this building. It's a very difficult cut to make, but it is confirmed to be faster. I was way more consistent though going around, which is what you'll see here in my full second lap. Also, there is a corner where I use the handbrake and NOS trick. 
to get my car to drift quickly. So make sure you're doing that on that corner. It is definitely faster than slowing down or cutting across the grass normally. All right, enjoy. The next event is called Corvette C3 versus that. This track should look familiar if you've been playing the summits each week. It's all about lines and NOS management. The C3 is a little bit loose as well, so you need to downshift early and try not to shift the weight of the car too much entering the turns. Control is definitely key right here. I also recommend putting the AI on three or more as far as your difficulty goes, so you don't run into them at the end of the race. And on the longer straights, you're gonna wanna shift up to fourth a little bit early and blast the NOS. All right, here's my last lap. Enjoy. All right, the next event is called American Racing versus that. And for this one, you're gonna be using the Camaro SS. This track is all about surviving the curb hops. It's definitely faster to cut these corners, but the car will jump quite a bit. So just do your best to survive and take these lines for your fastest time. I definitely can optimize this quite a bit more, but I was just trying to survive in order to get the clip for this guide. Here is my full second lap, enjoy. All right, the next event is called Porsche 911 RSR versus that. And of course, you're gonna be using the 911 RSR. I recommend the Pulse Performance Edition. It is a little bit better on the handling than the original 911 RSR. And this one is yet another lapped race, so there's not really much I can say about it because it's on a closed course, which means there aren't any cuts. So here is my third full lap. Pay attention to the lines and the NOS points. Enjoy.
last event is called Racing versus That, and for this one, I'm using the Hunatron. This one is my least favorite event of this summit. The course is too tight and the speeds are too high. It is a lapped race though, so I'm gonna show you my full second lap. Also, here's a couple of things to note. Don't be afraid to tap the wall a little bit. And if you're entering a corner with too much speed, you can actually use your handbrake and the NOS at the same time to flick the car to one side. If you contact the wall with the back corner of your car, you won't incur the speed penalty like when you hit the car with the side or the front of the car. Also, if you hit with too much speed, you'll get a crash animation which slows you down tremendously, which is why I reset a couple of these corners. Anyways, enjoy! All right, let's talk about the feats. First up is the Bullseye. For this one, I would recommend using the Alpha GP with Scorebreaker and a plane of choice with Scorebreaker. I unfortunately do not have Scorebreaker on my planes yet, so the score you're seeing is reflecting that. Obviously, don't miss any of the gates and try to hit the smaller Bullseye target. Again, if you do not have Scorebreaker on a GP, you can just use whatever car class you do have Scorebreaker. It's going to matter more to your score than actually going fast. All right, for the speed trap, this speed trap would benefit hugely by having a slipstream partner. And of course, you're going to need Nitro Chemist for your parts with Pure and Frenetic. Remember, on these, you can utilize Rewind to make sure you get a good run up. This one is fairly straightforward, and I believe without a slipstream, you can get over 400 miles per hour with a drag vehicle. Again, that's probably with Nitro Chemist and Pure and Frenetic. And lastly, we've got the Slalom. And with this one, the key is absolutely having a set of Scorebreaker parts. Best case scenario, you have it on the Alpha Grand Prix class. But if not, just like last week, use the class where you do have a full set of Scorebreaker parts. It's the most important thing to getting a high score on these slaloms. And that's going to be the same advice basically every single week we do have a slalom. Having Scorebreaker is actually more important than going fast. All right, here are my final scores. And again, if you have any questions about this summit, you're more than welcome to send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope this thing helps. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.